Inland Pool for the night. Actually, we've got two nights here at the Caravan Park. It's $30 a night. Um, the reviews aren't very good about this place, but um, anyway, we booked it and we want to leave the caravan there tomorrow. So um, let's see what it's really like. And here we are coming into Hamlin Pool where the Stroma lights are, a telegraph station post office. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very cute. Yeah, this looks all right. Upon checking in, we met Trish, the owner, who said she's had a really bad rap from people staying there about the place. Look, I think you've got to take it for what it is. Uh, it's got an amazing um, load of nostalgic history kept, and without people like this, we'd lose uh, what the past was like. This is Trish. Oh no. <laughs> Lovely Trish at Hamlin Pool. I'm just going to come in and show her a little shop. Oh, I just dropped my bag. I just bought off her. Hold on. I just picked that up. Oh, my goodness. So, yes, this is Trish's shop. I know. I got the. Look at this. I actually picked the bag that was right at the bottom. <laughs> that they had to all come off. I can help you put them back on too. And there's a little store, there's ice creams and drinks and clothing and hats. Yeah, you've got it all, it's beautiful. And I'll go and have a look at the old Telegraph. Definitely, definitely yeah, well let, me, let me help you with those. Okay, so left of the Telegraph station is all the powered sites. That's the lovely little shop with Trish in it. The swimming pool. The picnic area with some grass and a barbecue, which is lovely. We've got um, unpowered site and we've been told we can go over by this tree. And look, it's it's rustic. It's If you want to go to Steak Point and leave your caravan, this is where you do it. And yeah, the, the owner, the um, mum and son are lovely. Lovely Trish said that she's had some bad feedback, so I'm going to say this place totally suits us. And look, I think they gave us one of the best sites. We've got the shade of that lovely tree. And this is the Unpowered um, for $30 a night, a couple. Excuse my washing. We did some before we left um, Denham and it's Truly rustic Australia. Love it. The displays that you see in the museum were actually made from uh, Work for the Doll program, which I think is awesome. Um, there was a whole lot of uh, history that was going to be thrown out, but Trish took it on and has got it on um, display for everyone. The day we were there, the museum was open at 3pm and Trish's son actually did a talk to explain what stromatolites are and also about the history of the area. He also showed a very vintage video, um, which was fantastic to watch. Definitely worth popping in to have a look. like all these old nostalgic things that could be lost forever. Okay, so we're just above Hamlin Pool um, property. This is the highest point to watch the sunset and there's a quarry down here. So this is a historic site where they made bricks up for such buildings as where we were last night is made up of all these shells. A bit like Besser bricks. Um, we just walked up steps that were made out of them. And yeah, the old Perla, and there were several other places, but not many. Um, the building that's here, the back of it has got um, these shell bricks in them. And this is an old quarry. Steve's making his way back down these 
very historic blocks. So we're making our way down to have a look at the Stroma lights. Um, I do believe, unfortunately, National Parks has not fixed the boardwalk that was damaged during a storm, I think two years ago. So it was a cyclone that took out the boardwalk in 2021 and they anticipated they would repair it by 2022 and it's now April 2023. Stroma lights are the earliest living thing on the planet. So tonight I'm making a uh, zucchini slice because I want to bake it in our barbecue and take it on our picnic tomorrow because we are traveling to um, Steep Point, which is an all day drive. Um, now I bought this, it is a Tefail chopper. And I bought it from one of those Facebook buy swap sales. It was brand new for $20. Now, this is fantastic. I don't have to grate. I just have to do this to chop my veggies. So that was only half a cup of flour, three eggs, half a cup of cheese, one zucchini, one carrot and half an onion and this is going to be yummy it's nice hot or cold that's why i thought it'd be good for a um picnic so there's my zucchini slice all ready for the barbecue hey let's check it looking pretty good just stick the skewer in my love and perfect that's cooked now we can start cooking our sausage roll. And how good does my zucchini slice look? I'm going to wrap that up and pop that in the fridge. Ah, okay. Um, I swapped seats with Steve because I wanted you to see the sun setting. Um, so tonight for our dinner, I am making sausage rolls and I've got puff pastry that I actually kept in the tray that sits underneath the freezer because we've only got a bar fridge and it's not that big to store things um, so this uh, packet of puff fits beautifully it's not frozen but it seems to be working quite well what i do with leftovers at the moment i'm popping them in these press lock bags and the good thing about that we can mold them in our little fridge um, rather than a container trying to fit that in so all i've done is um, one piece of puff cut it in half line my uh, mixture and then just roll it like that and then we're going to pop that in a foil tray this one is a repurposed whoop, tray that's going to blow away like that we cooked in this the other night and i just used baking paper um, so i could use it again anyway that's what our sausage roll is going to look like now what steve's found is halfway through cooking he will flip it so then it will be golden on both sides Anyway, once that's finished, I will get the video going and show you. So to my um, sausage rolls, I should mention, I'm just going to poke a little couple of holes in with my knife. And this um, leftover mixture is actually um, sort of a chow min, savory mince I made the other night. Um, we made sausage rolls recently with our leftover chili con carne, but you could also put bolognese, a leftover sauce in it, whatever you can think of. Um, feta and spinach, make sort of spanakopita, um, not triangles, but maybe spinach logs. So anyway, whatever you've got, have a think and, and see if you could make a sausage roll out of it. Another beautiful WA sunset that just keeps giving okay so see it's just flipped one and this is how you brown them they don't seem to bake like normal this is how you get them going nice and toasty and there's our yummy chow min savory mint sausage rolls shall we save one for tomorrow i think we should we can have that with our lunch too Alrighty. Fantastic. But wait, there's more. I forgot about the fish wings that um, Sharon gave us from Denham. 
So what I've done is we've got a, one of the fish wings here. We've frozen the other fish that we'll cook another time. And I've got some Szechuan pepper that I've sprinkled over the fish. I've squeezed the lemon and I've got this butter to melt. We're not going to use, this is the third time we've used this tray. I'm not going to use it after cooking fish in it. Anyway, that was good that we got to use it three times. We're going to pop this in the barbecue and see what happens. We're not too sure. Um, she believes there's a fair bit of meat on that. So I think we'll be picking at it and hopefully not get bones. And that's our Szechuan lemon fish wings. bucket list and this is one of the items on it to visit steep point you have to have a high clearance four-wheel drive and allow three hours one way so we're going to be doing this for a full and it's 8 a.m so let's see how long today is because we're planning a full day at steep point to get to the westernmost point of western australia yeah from what we've heard and seen there can be some tricky parts with soft sand and... Yeah, a bit of soft sand, but I think it's just corrugations in some spots are horrible. So this is the start of the dirt road that just goes on for a very long time. It seems to have been graded recently, but um, yeah, if you had to suddenly pull up, you'd certainly slide out, I think. the left to the blowholes or right to the false entrance beach which is 400 meters and we're going to go down and have a look so another sign for the memory i think that's Zytorp point one kilometer so there's camping up here you think Excited to be at Steep Point. For weeks we've been watching on YouTube the fishermen catching Spanish mackerel and tuna off the cliff face and using gaff hooks to bring them up. This is how coarse the ground is. A lot of trip hazards. Oh my 
my gosh, we're at the blowholes. Oh, it's actually quite frightening when you hear the rumble. Just building it up. There's no water coming out today. No. The sound can be scary enough. Let's wait for the next set. It's like a living creature dragon, breathing. Man. Oh, that first one freaked me out. Oh my gosh, it does sound like it's breathing. I don't want to go too close. Oh, <laughs> oh so there's a little bit of moisture in this one. So we are here at False Entrance, there, and that's where this blowhole is. because where I was standing didn't have much under me. So this is it, we're headed up to Steep Point now, 43 kilometers, a hazardous area. We didn't have a sticker, but look what everyone's got to that side. <laughs> Oh, got wet. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe they let people just wander around here in their thongs. You've got that big one. Oh, oh, yeah. oh don't get too close. There's holes everywhere. <laughs> Oh. One. oh my gosh! Check this hole, that's massive. Oh. We're right up the top. So much water must come in to be able to pump its way up. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here! Well, I recommend you come here. Um, as scary as it is, it is quite a sight and I've got to say, I don't know, I think that's the most exciting uh, blowholes I've ever seen. Check this lunch out, that's my zucchini slice, some leftover sausage roll and a salad and the location. Here above the blowholes. Look out. Dicko's lookout looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, look at the lookout here. Yeah. Look at the cliffs. Yeah. It's almost like the Australian Bight down there. Wow, the colour of the water always blows my mind. I don't know if that's a track. That might be a drop off. Steve, stop. I think it is. Yeah, who knows what's under us? It could be like that over there where it's breaking away. Steve is a daredevil. There he is, that man. Scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> uh, all for the adventure. Like that bit there, it's about to come off. I just don't know. This is true to how close we are. I think this is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> if you're a bit anxious, you certainly will be here. <laughs> it's fun, but it's very close to the edge. So, what are your calculations, Stevie? Well, state point is state point. The most westerly point is actually about four or five k south, which I think it's here. Right. Another cliff top. <laughs> this looks like every other cliff top. I, I know. But we've survived all the others. <laughs> sign that says steep point so um, oh does it yes it does this way <laughs> been a big day of four-wheel driving thought we were going to be doing lots of fishing but it takes a long time especially when you've got to be careful um, some of those jagged rocks are sharp but you need your tires down for the sand Steep point, yeah. yeah. So we're actually at the most westerly. This 
is nature's hole, I think it's called. What a hole. <laughs> it's just crazy. It like is. it's the weirdest landscape. Yeah, you should I'll video when we get out of here. Um, just what's around is unbelievable. Nature's Hole. Right through there is the ocean. Fantastic. And then all the. Oh, 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 we just named it? We did. Okay, it's actually named. Yeah, that's right. We went to Cow Barry. Nature's Window. It is not just a hole, it's bloody awesome actually. Rename it. <laughs> okay, all right. So now we have to make our way up all those rocks. There's no stairs. And again, I'm wearing thongs. So, yippee, we did it. Check it out. This is how rough they are. The window's down through there, just hiding. And even put your hands on these rocks to help you up, there is no smooth spot, is there? Yeah, look no, how look strong at that. they are. That bit there, I can't. Oh. <laughs> right, well, there we go. Let's again. Yeah. That bit there. No. Oh, can't break it. No. As I make my way across this uneven surface, we couldn't believe our luck. We came across the guys that we've been watching on YouTube catch fish from the cliffs of Steep Point, who offered to give us a demonstration on how they hook the gaff hook into the fish and bring them up. These guys had a helium balloon out and they were aiming for uh, tuna, uh, actually Spanish mackerel, but the tuna was going off on their bait. It was awesome to see. Uh, the wind's pretty bad here. That's why I'm doing a voiceover. We'll see how we go. So is it high? The bait's high? No, on, the, on top of water? Yeah. It skips on top of water. And that's what And then the wind will pick it up and lift it up and it'll put it back down the splash. Oh. Up the splash. So the mackerel comes through. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's fantastic. There you go. Oh, look, that one's going. What's that? Tuna. Tuna, oh, across the water. Yeah, there you go. They're going to the bay. He's just reeling in his balloon now. Yeah, right here. Close, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see. Why aren't you catching them? <laughs> Look, that's the tuna. I think. Wow, that's them. Oh, yum. I really love a tuna. <laughs> hey, watch your fish, you can put it on. Kids. <laughs> 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 so we want something to smash it now. So that's got that garfish on it. Yep. yep. Then it'll go up, drop again, up and drop, up and drop. Just with the, the wind holds it nice and steady. Where you got that blown, swivel, yep. everything rigged up. Oh, look, this thing, is that the tuna going on? Yeah, look at that, look at that. Oh! Nearly right under it, man. This is like one of those amusement parks where you're trying this to pick funny. up a toy. <laughs> hey, exactly. They're there. They're not far. And this is what you're doing. Beautiful, yeah. Very visual fishing. It's awesome. That's a bait dropping.
wind. Yeah, it's shocking. Well, hey, as soon as it changes and it's down, bang. Come on. You look through and you can see it, see it all happen, right? Oops, it's up there now. Back in. Yeah, it's back in the water now. It's back in. It's out. But that's the way it teases, you know. Yeah. It's in the water. It's in the water. So. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'm just skimming it. No, it's just out. Of, yeah, it's out again. It's not the wind's dying. Come on. Just sit back in. Oh, I really hope you get something while we're here. <laughs> in out. In out. We highly recommend you get onto YouTube and search for Steep Point Cliff Fishing. It's incredible to watch and these legends work so hard to get the big fish in and up over the cliffs. I'd like to thank Mark and Tuna for giving us the time and the demonstration on how it all works. You guys are amazing and truly made our day. So this way a bit. So we just so pumped now <laughs> from what watching and listening to those guys with their fishing so um we don't have any of the gear that they have with their big balloons and um but we did take out some bait and bring it here and if no one's here we might have a little go just fishing from this point just here looks perfect yeah let's give it a go Steve. so we are going to catch some fish so this is where we're fishing right now. Oh, a um, right along this edge here. And may we always keep our positive hope to be successful fisher people. Because at this rate, uh, you could give up. <laughs> Anyway, got to keep, got to be in it to win it, they say, don't they? And we wish the sun was shining on this water because it would light up. We can see the turquoise even on a cloudy day, so. Magic. Bumpy ride home. Whoop. <laughs> We're at the furthest point, so we've got a fair bit to drive. Whoops! Oh my goodness! I know, isn't that stunning? It's magic. And bumpy. <laughs> Look out there. We're cruising down the camping grounds over that way, yeah. Look at this. Fantastic. Beach looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, so if you are able to bring a trailer in here, this is where you can camp as well. And it's lovely and calm from the wind. There's toilets I can see up actually on the right. And yeah, a lot of tents, marquees, rooftop tents. As we were passing the campground, we spotted Cam from Wild Touring, who was spending some time there with his mates. Check out YouTube for Wild Touring and Fishing Shark Bay and Steep Point. He's got some really good episodes. So we just stopped here and look at this amazing house. There was a sign up saying a private lease. Wow, pretty 
pretty isolated out here. A couple hundred kilometres to the nearest shop. Yeah. And it's four wheel drive only. Wow, well, that's beautiful. From this point, we've still got 140 k's <laughs> to get back to where we're going. Full on day. In hindsight, we're wishing we'd throw in the air bed and the tent in that we could have just camped. But um, anyway, if we ever come back again, I think we definitely will. We're back to this section again. So imagine bringing a boat and a trailer to the tide. It really would um, shake it up. Oh. <laughs> it's sort of relentless. <laughs> That's what it's like. And if you're a woman, <laughs> your bust does really jigger. <laughs> I think mine always jumped down my top earlier today. Even if you're a man. Oh, well, if you're a man and you've got man boobs, have something supportive. We'll hope that your seatbelt holds you in okay. Bumpy ride home. <laughs> so many um, whoops-a-daisies. 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 Whoops <laughs> so the trip home is taking a lot longer because we are riding these sand bumps like a horse <laughs> so we are now in the middle of nowhere well on our way out of here um, but we had our tyres down at 18 psi, so uh, yeah, we're just going to inflate our tyres. Now, what are you going to put it up to? About 45. About 45. There's tar just up there, but we do go back to the dirt track that we came in on this morning. And um, yeah, it's pretty smooth. So we're past the worst of the bumpy roads. I've got to say, I do get a bit nervous. We are in the dark and I just hope there's no side And yeah, there's no service, so I can't tell people that's what we're doing. Anyway, uh, just know that we had a great day. So I've finished this episode here. It was a long one, considering it was all in one day, but we had an absolute bore at Steep Point. I hope you join us in episode 9 as we head further north towards Quabba Station and check out another blowhole that's really going off. If you like our videos, please don't be shy. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or a like. Thanks for watching. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around someone.